My name is Dylan Stewart, and I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated games of 2020. Doom Eternal will be the first game I'm going to be talking about today. Doom Eternal is one of my most anticipated games of 2020 because Doom 2016 is a game I'm playing right now and the flow of the combat and many other things have made me very excited for the next game. Doom Eternal will be coming out March 2020. Going for a ride, Cap? Someone's initiated the security protocols. The Chimera's autopilot has taken over. Smells like a heist. We're heading back. Negative. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. Copy that. You're up, Bruce. Yeah. The Avengers game. The Avengers game by Crystal Dynamics will be the next game I'm going to be talking about. The Avengers game by Crystal Dynamics will be a single player and multiplayer game in the vein of Destiny, Division, and a lot of other games. I think that they'll be able to have the single player and the multiplayer combined to be a great game. And I think it will be a lot better than a lot of people think. The Avengers game will have the main character be Camilla Khan. You will be able to play as Iron Man, Thor, Camilla Khan, and many other characters. It will be coming out in May 15th of 2020. I'm very excited for this game. And here's a little bit more gameplay. I was hoping to face you. Funny, I've never given you a second thought. Come and get it! Twelve Minutes is another game that I'm very excited for this year. Twelve Minutes was announced at E3 2019. During E3 2019, they showed us a trailer that very, got me very excited. It takes place in an apartment, and you have 12 minutes to make sure that you survive. Here's a trailer that will show more of the game. surprise for you. Okay. Hmm. You want to guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died, died of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... 
Any second now, he's gonna knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No! You're under arrest! No. Hey! You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is a game that I'm very excited for because I've always loved Lego games. I loved them on my Xbox, on my Wii, on my PS4, and I've played all the different ones. I've played the Batman ones, the Star Wars ones from early 2000s, and many others. I'm very excited for this one because you will be able to travel to different worlds, and do many other things that you couldn't do in the original Star Wars games. So, I'm excited for this game, and here's a um, short bit of the trailer. Here you go. Resident Evil 3 is the next game that I'm going to be talking about. The original release of Resident Evil 3 was in 1999. It is being remade for current gen consoles. I'm very excited for this game because I'm playing Resident Evil 2 right now and um, I'm just excited for it because I'm stuck in this one so I'm very excited to be stuck again. So um, I'm very excited for the next Resident Evil game and here's a quick bit of a trailer again for um, some more imp for some more information. Here you go. people be infected this city is completely cut off isolated don't look at me like that all right I'm not an infected but right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town they don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way stars office has to be in this direction it gets worse every night they don't want the world to know what they've done. Oh, my head. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't see! 
stop him all. You gotta get out of there. You guys are the ones who caused all of this. No, 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 wait. Oh, come on. Ah! We've gotta be dreaming. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corps. Next is Dying Light 2. The reason why I have Dying Light 2 on this list and I haven't even played the original Dying Light is because I like choice based games. In Dying Light 2 you will have many different choices and they will change your game from the way they look and how your game plays out. I was very excited for that because I just love choice based games and it's going to have beautiful graphics and it's going to have first person combat which I also am starting to get into first person games so I'm excited for a dialogue too. It's going to be coming out I don't remember when it's going to be coming out. Um, Dying Light 2 would be coming out this spring so um, get ready for it during the spring and here's a quick bit of a trailer. Here's a, another quick bit of a trailer. Boom boom. Shh. It's been 15 years since the fall. The city is a corpse and we are the worms. We burrow in it. Fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. I know not who can hear my voice. I shall therefore speak a word unto hear. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged, and their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. choices we take to survive will create the world to come. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night and good luck. Watch Dog Legion is another game that I'm excited for because I played the first one and I was like a lot younger and I didn't really understand anything about the downgrades of Watch Dogs and how it was the next gen game or anything. I had an Xbox 360 so I wasn't even on next gen consoles so I was just excited for a new game. And I played Watch Dogs 1 and I really enjoyed the story. It wasn't anything groundbreaking or like the best story of all time but I enjoyed it. And then I played Watch Dogs 2 and it was even better. I loved the gameplay and I love hacking into different things and it just was fun. Watch Dogs Legion will be even better I think. You will be able to play as any character in the game and I think it's going to be really cool. Watch Dogs Legion will be coming out in the second half of 2020. So get ready for it, get your uh, wallets ready for it. And here's a bit of gameplay. There's a lot of gameplay online, so here's a little bit of it. As you can see, London's having a rough time of it. What with these nasty opportunists seizing control. That's where you come in. Welcome to the resistance. It's up to you to build the perfect team and take the city back. The good news is that any Londoner could become your next recruit. You can play as anyone. And they've all got their own gameplay skills. See this charming chappy? That's Victor. Watch it, you dumb idiot. He only takes half the amount of damage after his nectar pint. Or four. <laughs> Top man! 
And her, that's Sue, top-notch lawyer. Once in your team, she can get your operatives out of jail automatically. You don't even need to lift a finger. Nice one, Sue. And this is Alan, old codger and veritable mad bastard. Increased damage with rifles and... Wait, may die randomly? R.I.P. Alan. Moving on. Everyone is different, so you have to decide what's best for your team. But why would these fine people want to join you? Well, everyone's got an origin story. I want you to help me get revenge on the gangster f that killed my brother. Help them with their problem, and once they trust you, they will become playable characters. Each one of your new best friends is a unique gameplay build. So dust off your sorting hat and give them a class. Then level them up and unlock new perks. There are thousands of possibilities. Whether you've got a knack for gizmos... ...or you'd rather stalk people from the shadows. Building a team with diverse skills will be critical to your success. Each new recruit will make your team stronger. You can even customise your team members. There, what a lovely hat. Of course, accidents can happen. Don't worry. If you're smart, you could always surrender. No shame in that. Anyone got Sue's number? Luckily, our city is filled with millions of people, and any single one of them could be your next recruit. London's calling. Get out there and take it back. Next, I'm going to be talking about Last of Us Part 2. Last of Us Part 2 is a game that I'm very excited for because I played the original Last of Us recently, only in like either 2017, no, yeah, it was at the end of 2017. I just got my PS4 and I played Last of Us. I played it in like two settings. I have school, so I didn't play it in one setting, but I played it in like two settings. It was amazing. Um, the Naughty Dog is just amazing at stories. I played Uncharted 4 before I played Last of Us and it was just awesome. Um, so I love Naughty Dog games and Last of Us will be amazing. I believe Last of Us will be coming out in May. It'll be coming out in May. Um, shoot, where is it coming out? I wrote a lot of notes. Last of Us will be coming out in May 20th. May 29th of 2020 so be very ready for Last of Us 2 because I think it's going to be a game of the year contender or game of the year for many websites and for the game awards so Jeff Kelly, get ready oh and here's some gameplay of course we're always showing the gameplay Dylan why do I keep on mess messing that up and here's a little bit of gameplay I'm so excited for this game it looks incredible Get ready. You come back. Dino, where are you? You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care.
hell are you doing here? You think I'd let you do this on your own? The second to last game I'm going to be talking about is Cyberpunk 2077. T Cyberpunk 2077 is from CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red has made the Witcher series of games. The Witcher series of games are amazing. I played the, f the third game so far only and the Witcher 3 is all encompassing and it just gets you into the world perfectly. I've already put in 30, 30 hours into this game. I've put my life into this game. I've put longer than a day into this game. I only got it like a couple weeks ago. And I have school, so that's a lot of hours. So, um, basically, I'm very excited for Cyberpunk 2077. Even though it's first person and a lot of people are annoyed that it's first person and everything, I think it's going to be amazing. And I'm just excited for this game. Um, I'm excited for it to come out in April 20, uh, April, Cyberpunk will be coming out in April 16th of 2020. There are so many great games coming out this year, and this list was, like, small, and it only has 10 games on it, but there's so many great games that are coming out. Just be looking for different games on Steam, at GameStop if they're around for long enough and looking at different places to get some amazing games um, because there's so many coming out this year and here's some more gameplay I just want to show as much gameplay as possible so this get, so this video has most information as possible so here we go in 2077 they voted my city the worst place to live in America Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there, just around the corner and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is my most anticipated game because I just want to play a ninja game. A game that is going to let me be a ninja and it's going to let me play as these amazing characters from um, ancient times. I'm just excited for this game. I think the developers are ready to make a game of this level, of this caliber, to compete with all of the other amazing Sony games. So I'm very excited for this game. The gameplay looks slick that you get to do one hit kills and all of these different amazing things. I'm just very excited for this game. Um, it's my most anticipated game over Cyberpunk 27 and Last of Us Part 2. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I just really am excited for this game. I think it's something new and exciting that I'm excited for. Um, I said aside a lot in this video. I should stop saying aside so much. I will. And I'm just ready for this game. Um, I'm a huge history guy. Um, 
my dad's a history guy and I'm just ready to watch some Kurosawa films. I think it's called, his name is Kurosawa. He's a samurai uh, movie director and I'm just ready to play this game in, oh no, when does this game come out? I wrote down notes for all this so I have it in my, back in my, oh, this game comes out later this summer and I'm very excited for it. Um, Last of Us Part 2 is coming out in the summer, also in May 29th. So I'm wondering when they're going to put out this game. If they're going to put them out like two months next to each other, three months, or um, just a month next to each other. I'm just very excited for this game. And, um, and I hope it sells very well so they can get as many games out of this um, series as possible. And I just hope... That is amazing. Here's some gameplay. Um, here's the last gameplay, and then I'm going to try to make a little recap video of all the games that I talked about today, and um, some other games that I'm not sure that are going to come out this year. Um, a lot of games that I'm not sure are going to come out this year, like um, Bethesda games, Starfield. Um, there's the Assassin's Creed game that could come out this year. Assassin's Creed Kingdom is the story on the. Um, leaks and everything that they believe it's going to be called um, Assassin's Creed Kingdom. There was a leak um, in the, the in the Division Two that is going to be a Viking game, and then there's going to be um, a few other games. Um, Gods of Monsters is another game that I didn't put on this list because I just don't know much about the game. We don't even know if it's an open world game, a linear game, or any other type of game. Um, there's so many different amazing games that are coming out this year. Another game that I think is going to come out this year, but I didn't put on this list because I don't know it's coming out this year, is Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I'm so excited. I am so excited for Horizon Zero Dawn 2 because I love the first one and I'm just ready for the next one. And that's the end of the video and I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the lighting setup. I hope you enjoyed everything about this video. I have my drum by me. I have everything that I want to make a video. I just want to make as many videos this year as possible. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm not too intense or anything if this audio is too loud. I took off my mic because it wasn't working for me today. It was just being too complicated today and um, I decided not to use it. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to stop talking and here's some more gameplay. The ghost. Some say he died on the beach. Others say he is a storm made to flesh. When the wind thrashes their tents and boats, they know he is coming.
Kuei. Good friend. But you... Tell him I'm coming. Station.